start with Eric in the back and then go to Adam. Coach Hoppel said yesterday that the linebackers were, you know, one of the most improved units on the entire team. So from your perspective, how's that unit grown in fall camp, especially getting some guys back in the rotation? Yeah, I think the, the, the biggest thing is we have depth right now. You know, obviously we got here in the spring, you know, we had guys that were banged up, you know, trying to learn a new system, you know, so having some transfers in and, and obviously getting some guys healthy um, is giving those guys the ability to compete better. Um, it's a lot more um, urgency, you know, within the room. Um, still some things that obviously we want to do better, you know, but overall I'm pleased with the depth that we're developing, and um, I think we're heading in the right direction. Adam, right. Adam Sparks, Knox News. Uh, in game planning, is it more about, do you think it's more important to scout your opponent and see what's best against that opponent, or more to figure out what you're comfortable with, what scheme is your strength, what... 15 guys of your strength, which one of those do you usually go toward? Yeah, I think particularly with the first game, I think it's more, you know, what do we do well? You know, and being able to play to our strengths and making sure our guys understand very clearly, you know, what we're trying to get done. You know, um, obviously your first opponent, you know, particularly if they're a team that's returning a lot of starters, you know, you have an idea what you think you may get, but at the end of the day, it's a new season. I'm sure those guys have worked on some different things. So, so we want to just make sure that we understand what we're trying to get done to give us the best opportunity to succeed. Brent and Jimmy. A little bit of a, I guess, a follow-up to that without giving away your scheme. What do you feel like this unit is doing well? What do, you, what do you think you guys do well right now where you are defensively? Yeah, you know, as cliche as it may sound, you know, I think the guys are playing extremely hard. Um, I think at the end of the day, we're doing a better job of understanding our fits and responsibilities within, you know, every package that we have. Now, exactly which package we run the most, you know, be determined on who we're playing and, um, you know, what they present, the challenges and the opportunities we have. But at the end of the day, I think for us right now, we're just doing a better job overall executing and playing extremely hard. Uh, two things. Do you like where you are with the your players understanding your defensive scheme? And secondly, how many players do you feel comfortable with is, that you would identify as good pass rushers? Yeah, I feel good, you know, with the guys in terms of the grasp that they have with our defense, you know, and obviously, you know, doing it under the lights and doing it in practice, you know, it's another step to be taken. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, thus far I feel really good at what we're doing. You know, as far as pass rushers go, you know, I think it's still a work in progress. You know, we feel like we have some guys up front, you know, that have taken some strides in that, in that way. Um, but we also feel like, you know, if we need to generate some more pass rush, you know, we have different ways to, to get that done. Train and Rob. When you look at this week and, and what you're trying to do with the defense, it's going to be, you know, turning into game week on Saturday. Uh, is it still a lot more installing what you guys are trying to do right now before you set up for Bowling Green? Uh, how's the week play out? What is, what is that like for you? Yeah, you, you kind of, I think it's always different. You know, I can speak for us. You know, right now, you know, we're really finishing up, you know, the things that we had. We had a couple things on, on deck that we still wanted to make sure we took a look at. Um, but ultimately, you know, we're just trying to game plan, you know, what kind of wrinkles do we have within the system or within the plays that we already have in. But, you know, putting in a whole new package and things of that nature, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see us doing that at this point. Coach, cornerback is, is one of those positions that got a lot more competitive after the spring with, with the additions of your transfers. Just what have you seen from a guy like Alante Taylor? And is there a different sense of urgency now that the competition has stepped up with the guys you've added? Yeah, I, I think so. I, I think he's, um, you know, obviously being an older guy, you know, I think he had pretty good urgency from the beginning. But I think anytime you add, you know, other guys into the mix and those guys continue to push and continue to work, I mean, I think it becomes contagious. But, you know, Lante is a guy who's always had great work ethic. Um, he's worked extremely hard, you know, during the off season. You saw the, the fruits of that during camp, you know, and, and we're hoping that, you know, he'll take even another step, you know, going into the season. Vincent Patrick. Coach, what's tackling look like in 2021? I mean, coming off of last year where the guys didn't have 
a lot of preseason work for that. And then, you know, obviously teaching the technique right with the potential for targeting and things like that. How, how do you guys work tackling? Yeah, I mean, we, we spent a lot of time, you know, talking about body position and, you know, obviously your feet and making sure you're keeping your face out of it. You know, safety first. I mean, I think we all know that, you know. And I think, to be honest with you, you know, over the last, you know, five years or so, I think kids have gotten better because the coaches have gotten better teaching it. Uh, but ultimately, again, when you start tackling and, and tackling at, um, you know, high speed when the lights come on, you know, you hope the kids will revert back to their training because, you know, we're not tackling live every day. You know, it's more footwork, hand placement, hand placement. But as the lights come on and, you know, we get more opportunities to do it, hopefully we'll tackle even better. But to your, to your point for your question, I think we've done a good job of emphasizing, you know, safety first. And we'll like to see what happens, obviously, Thursday night, which I think those guys will, you know, protect themselves and obviously our opponent. Coach you, <clears throat> Coach, you talked about the linebackers a little bit earlier. Um, with so many new guys, how have, how have you guys gone about the process of, of kind of finding the, the signal caller, the quarterback of the defense, so to speak? Who are some guys you feel comfortable kind of giving that mantle to? Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we put a lot on our linebackers, you know, to, to understand, obviously, being able to help set the front and help um, – you know, obviously reiterate, you know, what we're trying to get done to the front, you know, obviously from the back to the front. Um, those guys have been great with it, to be quite honest with you. You know, all those guys get their chances, you know, whether it's our mic or our will, everyone has a certain level of communication, you know, that they have to have within our defense. But, um, I mean, it's still a work in progress, but I think to this point, you know, Coach BJ's done a great job of, you know, staying on top of those guys to the point where, you know, I don't know that we're necessarily there yet, but I think we're head and shoulders where, you know, where we are right now in terms of where we were in the spring. West when you look at you speaking of some of those linebackers, there's a couple of guys who are in spots for that or competition for that rotation, I guess, would be, you know, Solon Page the third and, and Pat Garland. You know, Page is a, a fifth year guy maybe who hadn't played a whole lot. Garland's mm -hmm. a guy who's a former walk on. What have you seen from each of those guys individually to kind of keep themselves in this mix here? Yeah, but both of those guys have shown flashes. You know, I think just like with anything, um, you know, the older guy. You know, he's had really good poise. You know, he hadn't played a lot of snaps in the game, but, you know, he's obviously had some special teams reps, and he's gotten better from the spring to the um, fall. Um, you know, Pac, you know, he's a kid who obviously transitioned, you know, from a defensive back to, to a linebacker, and I think um, – you know, for the most part, you know, you can see his athleticism because of his background. You know, he's just, again, working hard, you know, daily to put it all together, you know, become a, um, a well-rounded um, linebacker, so to speak. But, but I like him. I like both of those guys, to be honest. I think at the end of the day, you know, they're both going to contribute. You know, they're both going to help, you know, Tennessee this year. I'm sure you'd like guys out there that are good in every situation, but what's your philosophy of using specialty situational guys, guys that have a clear-cut strength and weakness and they're only going to get 10 snaps in a game? Yeah, I mean, I think that's vital to anything. You know, you try to identify, you know, what each and every one of these kids bring to the table. You know, what are their strengths, what are their liabilities. You know, if you have a legitimate pass rusher or a guy who's really good in coverage at a defensive back, you know, when the time is right, you know, you want to showcase them. So, yeah, you know, if you, if you can develop a role on this defense and you can help us win, you know, we'll find it. You know, we'll develop and give you a chance to showcase it. Eric and Brent. Uh, how many cornerbacks right now do you envision, you know, being ready to go out there and play some quality snaps? Yeah, that's that's probably a tough question. I think it's a fluid situation. You know, we're still, you know, um, trying to figure that out. You know, we feel like we obviously have three guys that we think will play um, a considerable amount of reps. You know, and we have a couple guys that are pushing for that fourth spot. You know, and even that fifth spot. So, um, you know, we have different packages. Obviously, that you know, all of those guys will have opportunities. But in terms of going with that first unit or that first rotation. Uh, we feel pretty good about, you know, three or four guys, but, you know, who they are in terms of that fourth and fifth guy, you know, is still a work in progress. Staying in the secondary, where are you at, at nickel or, or the star? How, how fluid is that competition? How settled are you at that spot right now? Yeah, we, we feel good about our first one, you know, out there. You know, we have a strong battle going right now um, with the second and third spot. Um, you know, Theo, Theo's done a great job for us all camp, you know, extremely um, athletic, you know, for his size and, and does a great job of understanding schematically, you know, what we're trying to accomplish. Um, and then we got a couple guys behind them that are, that are really having a really good, strong camp, you know, and, and we'll kind of figure this thing out in the next day or so, you know, who will be the next guy in. Jimmy and Rob. A couple things. First, uh, what have you seen out of Juwan Mitchell? Yeah, Ju Ju's, um, you know, he's a go-go guy. You know, goes extremely hard. Um, 
you should start to settle in, you know, how we do things and how we go about our business. Uh, but he's a football player. You know, he loves to play. You know, when he's between those lines, uh, he's, a, he's a physical kid, uh, probably runs a little bit better than, than we thought on tape. Um, so we're, we're excited to see what he does on Thursday, but he, he's been a guy who's playing really hard for us and playing fast. You know, he looks like a linebacker. And secondly, kind of follow up on Vince's question, there are times I'm watching the game and I'm like, they call targeting and I'm like, what was the guy supposed to do? Yeah. Uh, are there times when you think targeting's unavoidable or do you think, no, you needed to coach it better, the player needed to adjust better? How do you see that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's always tough. You know, refs have a tough job, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, they're, if they're going to error, they're always going to error on safety, you know, which, you know, for us in this game of football, you know, we all want guys to, you know, be able to go home after and see their loved ones. So, you know, I play defensive back, you know, I understand how hard it is. But at the end of the day, you know, we're going to do what's best for the for the game of football, you know. So we're going to try to teach it the right way and, and hopefully we can execute it the right way and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Coach, what kind of camp has Omari Thomas had? Is he – does he look like he's ready to be a guy that just played a little bit as a freshman? To, to Who was that again? I'm sorry. Omari. Oh, Omari. Big O. Yeah. To, yeah. Is he ready to take that jump from you know being somebody who was spot duty last year and into the rotation now, do you think? Yeah. Um, it, it's really hard to say. You know, O has worked really hard, you know, but I, I think our whole front, you know, has worked hard. You know, Coach Gardner's done a nice job, continue to um, push those guys and, and, and get them going. And, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit, you know, by committee up there and, you know, for us to play, you know, at the level that we all want to play at, you know, we're going to need to be good up front. And um, it might have to be by, you know, by committee. So, O's part of that mix. You know, he's working hard. Um, how much of a role he carves out, you know, I think it's yet to be determined, like it is with a lot of those guys up front. Trey and Ryan. You, you talked about earlier about the defensive line, kind of wanting to get a little bit more out of that group. When you look at that defensive line right now, you know, how many guys do you see in rotation at that spot, you know, any spot on the defensive line? Um, and then also, you know, what is it about what they need to accomplish over the next week getting ready for Bowling Green? Yeah, I mean, again, just stay in the process. And I know that's cliche, but the reality of it is we're still working. We're finishing up. Just just playing hard. How many guys we play, as many as earn an opportunity. You know, so you get what you earn. You know, again, understanding big picture-wise, you know, for us to play at a high level, you know, we're going to need to be able to rotate guys. Now, we aren't rotating guys if they're not ready to play at the standard that we've established. But the way I see it right now, you know, Coach Gardner's doing a good job of developing not just our first group but the second group and hopefully even some of the third group, you know, have an opportunity to play. But at the end of the day, no different for the D-line, linebackers, um, defensive backs, you get what you earn. You know, how do you earn it? You know, through your performance, you know, not just one day, but the consistency, you know, your daily approach. And um, I think Big O and the rest of those D linemen, I think those guys have bought into that. And I think they're working extremely hard to make sure that they earn the right to step between those lines and, you know, take the field. We talked about the competition at cornerback. Uh, how, how have those transfers looked back there, Turnage and, uh, and Haddon, and how have they gotten up to speed? And, and has either of those guys put themselves in position to, to play right off the bat? Yeah, I mean, they're still, they're still fighting and pushing and clawing and scratching. Um, you know, I, I think the thing that they, they've afforded us right now is some flexibility. You know, being able to play inside, being able to play outside, you know, being able to move some different guys around. Um, so, you know, we're pleased that they're here. You know, those guys will, will carve out some sort of role, whether it be a starter, whether it be a backup. You know, again, I think that's yet to be determined. But ultimately, you know, the fact that they're here, they've already made us better. Last question to me. What have you seen specifically from DJ Terry in camp? Yeah, power. You know, power and strength. You know, we knew, um, you know, he was a, a kid that played hard on tape. You know, and he hasn't disappointed. You know, he's a physical kid. He's big. Um, you know, he's obviously learning our system and how we go about our business. But, but we're pleased with him. I mean, you talk about a wonderful kid. You know, a kid who wants to do right, who wants to be great. Um, he takes coaching. So I'm excited for him. You know, I'm really looking forward to watching him play and, and help this defense win. Thank you, Coach. All right. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you.